Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to run Quantum Espresso on a Windows PC and that too in parallel. So basically all the cores on your machine, that is your processor will be utilized. So if you have a multi-core processor such as a dual core, quad core, hexa core, or even higher, then uh, you would be able to take advantage of those extra cores to run Quantum Espresso in parallel. So the first step to do is to head on to the homepage for Quantum Espresso that is quantum-espresso.org and head over to the download section. So once you're at the download section, there's a bunch of information about how to cite Quantum Espresso then how to download. So what you have to note here is that these two links basically will provide you a source code or source package of Quantum Espresso, not a binary so the difference between a source package and a binary is that a source package needs to be compiled to be able to run it however a binary is basically just a dot exe or dot x file that can be just double clicked and run straight away so if you are going to compile it by your own which this tutorial isn't about then you will usually head over to this section however for windows um, what users what you can do is to download the windows binaries you can go to this link that is advanced software corporation so what these guys have basically done is um, they have been nice enough to have compiled a very recent version of quantum espresso that is 6.2.1 and um, provided the binary files for windows as well as linux now the important thing to note here is so um Basically, as I already told you that uh, you have to take the source code and compile it on your own to be able to run on your PC. So the major uh, factor about uh, why people want to provide this um, freedom about compiling the software on, on your own is so that you can use your preferred libraries. So what they have provided here is um, their binaries are basically compiled with Ming W64, G4, Tran, Intel MKL, and Microsoft MPI. So what this does is is basically it doesn't guarantee that this binary will be able to run on your PC or not, depending if you have these um, required um, libraries or not. So luckily, in my experience on Intel processors running Windows 10, um, I found no problem in r running these. Um, <coughs> binaries so basically you can ignore this section about binary files of QE for Linux and then head over to binary files of QE for Windows and then download this QE.zip so and another disadvantage of downloading this um, binary is that it is a pretty old version not a very old version but yeah uh, current version of Panama Espresso is 6.4.1 and it's only 2.1 so I won't go ahead and save it again. It's around 352 MBs, but since I have already downloaded did it, so I won't be saving it again. However, um, I should also note here that if you download the binary files of Linux, so in my experience, I wasn't able to run these right out of the box, so I had to compile them on my own. But the problem is I know how to compile the binary files for Linux. However, I don't know how to do the same for Windows. So anywho, let's coming back to the theme of the um, tutorial that is how to run Quantum Espresso on Windows in parallel. So once you download it, you will have a QEWIN file. However, you can also download an MPI.zip file. However, I'm not really sure how um, this would be uh, coming into play. However, I've downloaded them both and then extracted them both right here and then and also if you have more knowledge than me about how to compile it for windows and all that stuff then i'll be uh, happy if you would be uh, you know willing to leave a comment down in the sec comment section down below so help other users out if you can anywho so just uh, extract this qe win um, this qe.zip file over here and you will get a folder called QE and this would have all the binaries needed for Quantum Espresso. So if you are previously familiar with Quantum Espresso then you would be expecting a p.w.exe, a bands.exe, a matdyne, um, I saw that here right here and then bands.exe and a lot of uh, the usual exes. So now let's do a sample run and see if this works or not. So here I have a test run QE folder which has an scf dot in input file for an scf calculation using Quantum Espresso. So um, 
let me just go ahead and show you guys a little bit of what this file has um, in it. So basically it would be an SCF calculation for our test run, then the standard um, input like max seconds. And one very, very important thing to note here is that whenever you are providing the address or the directory for the pseudo directory or the temporary directory that is out div argument, then what you have to keep in mind is you have to use um, forward slashes here instead of the backslash. So um, usually on Windows, basically, if you see right here, then you can see that Windows usually uses backslash. However, for some reason, on my PC, I couldn't get it to work with backslashes, so I had to use forward slash, which is similar to what you will do on a Linux PC. So anywho, so then we have the pseudo directory um, providing the um, pseudo potential, then the, uh, you know, the argument to calculate stress as well as forces then uh, basically it is an iron bcc structure so we have an iron atom at the origin and another one at the center of the lattice or the cube and then the standard stuff k point six by six by six some information regarding these parameters and all the standard stuff and you can also see uh, we'll be doing a spin polarized calculation. So as you can see, there is nothing fancy about this input file. Basically, I mean, it is basically identical to any input file that you will create for Linux. So there is nothing new that you will have to take care of here. So to in order to run this calculation, what you will do next is you will head over to command prompt. So just go in and run that. So here I am. So let me just come to this directory real quick. So I'll just um, head over to my desktop. And then it was, um, let me see, test run? Yeah, test run. Okay, so here I am. And so the command to run is, run this uh, input file is pretty easy. So, so I need to go to the folder where I have downloaded QE and extracted it so I had QE downloaded here and then I extracted the zip file to get this so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find pw.exe which is this file right here open my command prompt and then just drag this pw.exe here so that I'll get the address and make sure that the uh, you have double quotes around the address and then the procedure is pretty simple so you're already in the directory that contains the input file that is scf.in so um let me just take care of a few stuff okay so you have the you are in the directory containing the input file then you have provided the address for the quantum espresso pw.exe executable and then just hit a space um triangular left arrow and the name of the input file that is scf.n triangular right arrow and um, the name of the output file so let's just call it scf.out and then hit enter so what you'll notice here is okay so it is asking you to provide some access and just go ahead and click on allow access i think it uh, asks for those permission because um it's meant to run on a multi-node environment as well so if you have a multi-node pc maybe it needs to access some networks again i'm not an expert over here so what you can notice here is that the calculation has already uh, completed so just go ahead and click on scf.out and open it in your favorite editor and by the way i always use notepad plus plus so shout out to notepad plus plus team so what you can notice here is uh, in the starting is that it is quantum espresso version 6.2 and then you can also notice that it is a parallel version running on four processor cores so basically a single mpi process because uh, it is basically sing a single node and then threads basically four because i'm using a dual core i7 on my laptop and it has two threads per core so i guess four threads from that and the mpi processors are distributed on a single node and then basically standard stuff and in a few moments you will see that uh, the calculation has completed successfully so the job done and you can also see the total energy the absolute magnetization total magnetization and all that stuff forces stress so the calculation was successful so i guess that's it 
and that's how you run Quantum Espresso in parallel on a Windows PC. So just follow the similar procedure for this. Uh, if you have even any other uh, you know, calculation, like if you are going to use bands.exe, then just replace PW by bands. However, I should also take a moment to um, discuss one really uh, annoying um, problem with running Quantum Espresso on Windows is that when I'm running bands.exe or a similar file which has an ampersand plot name list, so basically a plot name list, whenever I have a plot name list, then this doesn't work for some reason. So maybe I am doing something wrong. I'll be happy if you could share your experience in the comment section down below. However, that's it for this tutorial. That's how you run Quantum Espresso in parallel on a Windows PC. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I have a bunch of tutorials on Quantum Espresso and similar software. And that's it. Thanks for watching and have a great day.